Okay, what's up everybody? So I'm changing a few things on my channel and this is just going to be a small informative lecture, if you want to call that, which can be beneficial to you as an athlete, cyclist, whatever endurance sports you do. And today I want to talk about something that you never probably thought of as very controversial, but we as professional athletes have, and that is antioxidants. So we all think taking antioxidants is really good for our body and already eradicating free radicals. So to understand this is it's really important when we are training, when we are using antioxidants and when we are racing, when we are using antioxidants. And to better understand this whole process is that you need to understand oxidative stress. So oxidative stress um, is when your body metabolizes the oxygen and uses it as energy. And during this process, your body actually creates free radicals and those radicals uh, damage the mitochondria in your cells. We automatically think, oh yeah, it, it damages this, the mitochondria in the cells, uh, it's bad for the body, uh, it creates a, a, a bad process or ecosystem within the body and we need to take antioxidants to automatically prevent this process. So hang on, there's always a good time and a bad time for everything and that's why we call it periodization. So for example, when we are training hard or under stress or have an infection of any thought, our body is under immense stress and we can refer to this as oxidative stress. So when oxidative stress takes place, what we tend to forget is that when we are training hard, doing hard training blocks, oxidative stress is really good for the body because by creating oxidative stress we create adaption so please remember this so that's why some professional athletes it's not really a highly debated thing do not take a lot of antioxidants because you don't want to lessen your oxidative stress you actually want the oxidative stress so that the body adapts once you go into your competition phase, phase or you've got some illness or infection um, or you're really close to peaking, then you start introducing uh, antioxidant, antioxidant supplementation, for example. And I say antioxidant supplementation, yeah, um, and I put it in quotes, is because foods already have a lot of antioxidants, and you need to remember this as well. So if you're already following a really healthy uh, diet, there's actually no need to take antioxidant supplementation to increase the antioxidants available in your body. Also remember is that your body better uh, utilizes natural coenzymes of antioxidants that are that you get from food. So uh, to supplement with it your body doesn't absorb it that well um, and if you end up taking a lot of supplementation it can um, cause some intestinal problems whatever. We, we, we know that uh, and then obviously uh, some products you have to be careful of as an athlete for no cross-contamination, for testing positive and some products are just fake and it's going to waste your money and some don't even work. And in the world we're living now, um, we don't know what's in, in some of the, the products nowadays so we really need to be careful there. However, there are some good companies. Um, I'll do that in another vlog and tell you what they are. So. To just quickly sum up um, what you can do um, to lessen your oxidative stress is to obviously lessen normal stress and I mean stress by external factors like things bothering you outside of the sport, meditating, having a good balanced social life um, and then obviously eating certain foods with a lot of antioxidants. That's only if you already want to lessen your oxidative stress but what I basically wanted to tell you in this is that oxidative stress is good for you especially during the adaption phase. One thing I really like to do is almost take no supplementation during hard training blocks when I am healthy however 
and then closer to competition I would start introducing some uh, more antioxidant supplementation amino acids um, to benefit a little bit from that going into a peak event or some uh, event that's really important for me or if I'm really scared I might get sick uh, I might take some more vitamin C also remember vitamin C is also uh, natural is also antioxidant but you can get vitamin C in a shop which is not a natural antioxidant or out of fruit which is a natural antioxidant which your body will absorb much better um, I really hope this works for you if you've got any questions please leave them down below and I'll be able to discuss them with you uh, much much better Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to sub, like, comment, subscribe, share, all of those stuff uh, so I can grow this channel and I enjoy doing it. So cheers guys and all the best.